Hey tech heads, welcome to Mobile Quickie. I'm Dennis. In today's video, we're gonna cover basic authentication for your iOS app, allowing your users to sign up and sign in with username and password, powered by Amazon Cognito, and we're gonna cloud enable this app from our local environment using AWS Amplify CLI. I can't wait to show you, let's get started. <music> Okay, first thing you wanna do is launch Xcode and we're gonna create a new application, single view app, and let's just name it uh, Basic Auth. And this will be just a starter app that we'll use and later cloud enable it. Next step, moving on to the AWS Amplify CLI. Okay, here we are in the Mac terminal and we're getting ready for the AWS Amplify CLI. If you haven't already installed it, go to aws-amplify.github.io follow the getting started, install it and configure it and then come back here. So here we have the basic auth directory that we just created. And I'm going to call amplify init and this is going to get everything ready and I'll choose your default editor. And then iOS should be selected by default because amplify knows that we are um, running an iOS application. Make sure that's selected by default. And then it asks you for your AWS profile, which is um, how you have your AWS uh, CLI configured if you have a different profiles. If not, just choose the default. And this is what credentials are going to be used to make this API calls to cloud enable the app. So this is initializing and setting up some resources in the cloud and cloud enabling our app in a local environment. So now we're here. Now we want to run Amplify Add Auth. And this is going to create the Amazon Cognito user pools and the um, auth and unauth role for us that will allow our users to sign up and sign in with Amazon Cognito user pools. So using the default configuration sets up the normal default parameters for username, password, um, defaults, whatever it might be. Follow those defaults, just hit enter through and Amplify push now is gonna set up our template and push it into the cloud as a cloud formation stack and re uh, provision our resources. And once we're done with that, then we'll have our resource in the cloud and we can go move on to the client. Okay, so now we're in the client, we're back to our basic auth app, but we wanna add the AWS mobile SDK. And to do that, we're gonna use CocoaPods. Since we already have our basic auth here, we don't have CocoaPods ready. So first thing we're gonna do is do a pod init and that'll create a basic flat pod file for us. And then we're gonna edit the pod file and we want to add our dependencies for the AWS mobile SDK for user pools and basic authentication. So in here, we're going to add three dependencies. We're going to add the AWS user pool sign in, which allows us to do the sign in for user pools, the auth UI, which brings us up to the username, password, forgotten password UI um, for the users, and then the mobile client to manage that identity for us. So then now let's go ahead and do a pod install, which will install those dependencies in our local environment and then get it ready. And that's it for setting up the SDK. Once that runs through, let's move on to the next step. So the next step is we want to add the AWS configuration.json file. This is the file that gets updated or created by the Amplify CLI when we add or remove a feature within the CLI. So here what we want to do is first launch Xcode and then we're going to add it to our Xcode project. And it remembers just one time and then going further when we go add features, it'll automatically be updated in the Xcode project. So here we have the Xcode launched and let's go and just do the basic, uh, basic auth folder and do add files to basic auth. And then we're going to choose the configuration file, which should be in the root of our project there. AWS configuration, hit add. Now don't select that copy items if needed because we want to have it updated and we don't want to make a copy of it because we want to keep it in sync. And that's it. So the next step is the launch Xcode here and we're going to uh, add the AWS mobile client in the app delegate. So select the app delegate and then I copied from the docs from the basic uh, user docs. And so we're going to import the AWS mobile client and then we're going to add the new method, which is the open URL URL method, the entire uh, function. And then just paste that into the uh, app delegate there. 
And then we're going to call that function within the standard did finish launch with options. So return that and then we'll get rid of this return true and clear that out. So we just added three things. The AWS mobile client, we created the new function for open URL, the intercept, and then call the intercept from the did finish launching. That's it for the AWS mobile client. Now it's time to implement the auth UI piece. So we're going to launch Xcode and in the view controller, we're going to apply the auth UI and auth core piece to allow us to pop up that user interface, allowing our users to sign up and sign in with the application. So dependencies, we're going to add the auth core and auth UI, and then a new function called show sign in and apply that to the view controller. And then we're going to call this function from the view did load, allowing your users to see this uh, nice, beautiful UI that's part of the SDK. So let's go ahead and build and run this. Now, one of the gotchas here is the SDK requires a navigation controller for the UI, and we don't have that because we just did a basic um, auth app. So we're going to collect, select storyboard, select view controller, and then in um, the navigation editor, editor, embed in, navigation controller. Select that, and then we're done. We have a default navigation controller, which will allow us to launch this. Um, so let's build it and run it, and we should be able to see that beautiful interface allowing our users to sign up and sign in. We'll run it through here, and in a second it should be running. And now let's go ahead and demo it. Okay, here we are looking at the user interface provided by the AWS SDK. This allows our users to sign up and sign in through a beautiful interface. This can be customized if you like. So they can provide their username, password, email, or phone number when they register. The interface also provides a way for the user to forgot their password, so they select it, they can put their username in and they'll be notified with a link and they could click on that and reset their password. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you like these articles or these videos, please don't forget to the like button and subscribe to be notified when we drop a new mobile, mobile quickie. Mobile, 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 mobile quickie. Later.